Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Assign Invisible Faces feature, a new feature in Maya 2011. So the basic difference between an invisible face and a deleted face is that you can still perform operations on invisible faces. So for example, if you smooth a mesh, the invisible face will be included in the smoothing algorithm, whereas a deleted face will not. And they show a picture of that here. And we're going to run through a similar situation to this right now in this tutorial. So here we have two cubes. I've just made each face a different color to make it easier to track the changes that happen to the faces. And what I'm going to do is to delete the green face on the left cube and to make the green face invisible on the right cube. And then I'm going to smooth both the cubes and we'll see how the invisible face responds much differently than the deleted face. So I'm going to right click here, select face, and then click on that green face and just hit the delete key. So there I've deleted that face. Click on the right hand cube, right click, face, select that face. Now I'm going to go to the Edit Mesh menu. Now the Assign Invisible Faces option is the last option on this menu. So I'm going to pull the Maya interface up so that you can see that. So now I'm clicking on that Edit Mesh menu again and here's the Assign Invisible Faces option. I'm going to go to this box here. I'll just pull the Maya interface back down again. So here's the Assign Subdivision Hole Options. This is assigning an invisible face. So I'll just make sure that this face is selected and click Create. You don't see it in the viewport, but if I render, you can see that they both have a missing face, but this one's deleted. This one is just invisible. So I'll get out of that render window. Now I'm going to make sure I'm in object mode here on both of these. So I'm going to select this one and then I'll hold down the shift key and select this one. So I've got both these objects selected in their entirety and now I'm going to smooth them. I'm going to go to mesh, smooth, go to the box here. I'll just accept these options. I had selected linearly before, so it remembers that, and click Smooth. So you can see those look quite different. Now if I go to the back, they look exactly the same, because all these faces in the back responded exactly the same to the smoothing. But these front faces responded very differently. So let me just adjust this a little bit and render. So this is the invisible face, and this is the deleted face. The deleted face was not taken into account by the smoothing algorithm. The invisible face was. Let's just try that one more time. Just make sure they're both selected. Hold down the Shift key, select this. Go to Mesh, Smooth, and Smooth. So what we're seeing here is that for the cube on the right, the invisible face is being taken into account by the smoothing algorithm, whereas for the cube on the left, the deleted face is not being taken into account. And that wraps up this tutorial on assigning invisible faces.